Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global and we're here with a very happy Jamie Conlon. Just uh, witnessed your brother Mick just uh, putting on a very good performance against a very tough opponent. How do you assess his uh, performance tonight? I give it a, a, a C plus overall. Been overly critical but <laughs> it's what I, I always will be and I'll be brutally honest with him when we sit down. So. I think he ticked. Well, what, what we wanted with tonight's work was to tick a lot of boxes going forward. You know, he's not the finished article. He's a work in progress. We're building and building and building. Um, so uh, tonight we, we we ran against a bigger guy, uh, a, a natural featherweight, big featherweight, more seasoned operator. Mm -hmm. Been over, been at world class level. Been been um, done the longer rounds a lot more than Michael. Uh, a heavy hitter really heavy handed and just someone who is not going to be overawed by the occasion so he's done 12 rounds of Galahad mm -hmm. he, he is two knockout losses where it's too random where he was way drained so tonight we we checked kind of longevity going going the, the, the distance a bit more taking a shot um, able to deal with the this atmosphere was mm -hmm. in. I think that was probably played a part with the first round. He started very slow in yeah. the first because I think he was still caught in the in the, the crazy atmosphere that, that walk out even got me. Um, but you share, I know you and Michael have got a great relationship, like you share each other's punches when you're in your fight so again I can understand why yeah, that touched the, you. The, so. the, the, the walking out, like, like I was like, I felt myself, <laughs> like, my, my hands were behind my back then, I was just like, I was tensed up and I was ready to go and it was like well, that was that was special. Someone want to make you put the gloves back on? Yeah it actually does you know but <laughs> <laughs> I would have preferred to be in there tonight that was um that was like getting teeth pulled out sitting and watching your brother being in, being in one of them ones and it was a very long week building week and you know I'm, I'm very happy he came out of it uh I'm, I'm in, in spurts he done really special great things you know combinations well switching the southpaw control I was going to say that he showed a wide variety of his skill set when he was his footwork he was spinning off the ropes yeah. he was switch hitting so again there's some positives to take from that fight you gave oh, him a C plus no, but yeah, still load, loads of positive I'm, I'm, I'm being overly critical when I say C plus because I expect yeah. you know, like everyone else I, still, I expect I see it in the gym so I expect it to be replicated mm. in the ring and it will tame will tell it will um but we're just building. We're built tonight. You know, top rank. We're saying it. 18 months um, for a world title crack, and that's why they. It, this wasn't a step up. This was a leap. Yeah, yeah. You know, this was a huge step up. This was kind of. This was a level that that um, not much seven no prospects fade up. Former world title challenger, as I said, and you know, his loss to Kid Galahad. Kid Galahad was found doping for that fight, yeah. so you know he he couldn't get him out of the end. So it's kind of it. it I'm happy inside. I'm I'm, I'm delighted mm -hmm. outside and to win, him. Yeah. yeah, outside to him, I'll, I'll be. He did this wrong. He did this wrong. But everything he done wrong can be rectified. He made his own mistakes. There was no. There's no. Um, it's not like a fundamental flaw in his game. He just made did things. Sometimes he did stupid things at the wrong time. Where he, that will all come with experience. And I'm I'm very happy with the performance. Uh, I still would give it a C plus, but. I'm really looking forward to the future stuff. Well, you touched on that a wee bit. He's 50 months into his pro career and he's eight fights in already. So you mentioned this was a jump, yeah. not a step up. Yeah. Is it going to be another jump or another step up? What's it going to be next? The next opponent will be will bring a different, um, you know, different obstacle, uh, different obstacles. Tonight, um, we spoke with Pat Brand previously. We knew that the chain was going to get checked. They, they want to, these are all we checklists before fighting for a world title. You do want to get the world title like I did and get found out. Um, by not getting checked, yeah. the, the, these these tests at the right time. So um, it's a. I would like another step up, um, a, a different different obstacles. So um, definitely definitely would love uh, something else. But we're going to take him. His, his baby is is due next month. Few, actually next week. She's right. due next week. Or he he she. I don't know. What it is. Um, <laughs> it's been a long night. Yeah, uh, uh, baby due will be due next week. What's um, He'll like, he's, a, he's a family man first and foremost. Yeah. He'll spend a lot, lot more time with the family, with the baby, with the, um, Shauna. And um, it's a we have a, we have a date set in December, December eighth, I think it is, December in New York, and we'll be aiming for that long term. Um, whether we have one before that or not, that's that's something we'll sit down in the coming weeks and and, and discuss. Well, final question: I want to touch on that crowd again because I was in New York for Michael's debut. And even the atmosphere there at Madison Square Garden was something unreal. But there tonight, 
Uh, you've touched on it, but I just want you to elaborate a bit more on that crowd tonight, well, the Belfast I, crowd. I'd be very um, calm on, on a lot of situations. It never liked me to get overly eager and overly kind of hyped. Mm -hmm. But I, I got I got caught up with the emotions. Uh, I'm not an emotional person, you know. Uh, my dog me, died. I didn't cry. <laughs> 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 uh, stuff like that. You know, it doesn't bother me. But I, I can feel it there. You know, mm -hmm. and. Um, it's the thing with, with Michael, if that was an eight round card, or eight round, eight round fight on someone's on the card, we would be praising it right now and saying great experience, valuable mm, yeah. learning lessons going forward. But Mick um, is, a, is a PR genius, he's, he's, a, he's a promoter's dream, but he, he brings this circus, this event with him every time. And sometimes now, it, which will stand in great stead uh, yeah. once again going forward. It's hard to separate himself with that, and um, that that was special. Well, good stuff. Well, thanks nice. for the news, Five TV, and I'll go have a nice cold Corona with you back at the hotel. Brilliant, brilliant. Cheers, Jimmy. Thanks, bud.